What's up everyone, it's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another video. As you guys know from the title, uh, we're going to be discussing uplights. Everything related to uplights, both lighting, the uplights they make, and honestly the best decision you probably could ever make in terms of uplights. Back there behind me is the S4s. I have the S4 minis, the S6 minis with me. Let's get on into the video. So yes, today we are in the Fusion Sound Lighting Garage inside of my awesome new house. I've been here for over a year and uh, we are well overdue for a tour of going through all the, all the gears over here. Um, these awesome hex grid lights and my tool uh, development. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. I, there's a whole nother back area over here. But today's video, we're going to be going through all of the different models that both lighting has to offer, what the details that you guys need to know, like the true stuff, like the output and all that, and what I personally recommend. If you guys remember, I made a whole video on the S4 lights about two years ago, and since then, we have became a authorized dealer for both lighting. And in fact, we are the only us based authorized dealer for both lighting in all of the united states so that is your guys disclaimer for this video because most people want to know that but uh we myself fusion sound lighting dj rick web we are an authorized dealer for both lighting so if you want to buy them you can buy them for us but that is your disclaimer um along those notes though we do use these every single freaking weekend we have uh six cases right here six eight unit cases of both lighting some of those are roughly about three to four years old now um, and they're still solid still rocking still performing amazingly but this right here is what we need to get into so this video like the title says both lighting has four different models which one is the best these right here are the s4s i made a whole video on those these are what we actually use personally now we've got we've gone to all s4s but they also make an s6 version which has six diodes and i used to have one i'll overlay some b-roll footage throughout this of the s6s because i did shoot some b-roll footage before i got rid of them comparing the two of them but they also make the mini versions of those same lights so you have an s6 mini so it's smaller and an s4 mini and here's the Here's the size difference on these guys. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna compare the S4s right here to the S6s, which is the light I don't have, so I'm gonna be showing some B-roll footage right here. And then we're gonna talk about the S4 and S6s versus the minis. So, first off, the first thing you need to know between the S4s and the S6s, the housing, this outside housing is identical. They, they sit in the same lights, same housing, same glass, same all metal construction, same kickstand, same power con in and out, same DMX in and out, same switch, same kickstand, I think I already said that, same glass on top, even the same controls. The controls between the two of them are the same and their DMX profile is identically the same. So you can mix S S4s and X S6s all day long, they're identical. What's different is this right on top. There's two things that make them different. One is the LED source, and that LED source makes the battery life different between them as well. So, um, let me pull up an S6 mini because it's the same thing, but the S6s have six diodes, the S4s have four diodes, and they're a little bit different when it comes to their coverage pattern. What you'll find is that the output is the same. How far this light shoots light out is the same between the S6 and the S4s. So the output power is not different. What is different is the coverage pattern. So how wide it covers on the wall. And I'll try and put some photos up here as well for you guys to look at. The S6s have a wider coverage pattern than the S4s. Now, personally, just giving you a quick little personal opinion, I think the S4s look better. I like the tighter, narrower pattern going up the walls. I don't like the S6s with their wider wash pattern. That's my personal preference. But like I mentioned, that difference in LEDs allowing you to have a wider coverage or just in general, they have six versus four comes at a sacrifice of battery life. Now, I'm not gonna tell you the specs that both lighting claims because honestly, it, they literally say that these lights can do like 15 to 20 hours of battery or something astronomically ridiculous and it is possible but like at the best case scenario so let me give you the real world numbers and how i got these was through extensive testing and i did this actually about a year ago with all four of the models what i did was i put them in my garage not this one my last garage and i ran them multiple nights in a row from full charge to dead to see in different scenarios how long the battery lasts the first test i did 
and I did this extensively. So for each test, we tested each light five times under the same scenarios with all the lights to see how long they could last. So the first test we did was max power and you will never ever do this with these lights. Never. This is the absolute worst case scenario and you should never do this to your lights because it's stupid. What we did was we turned on every single color fader at max. So red, green, blue, amber, white, UV, these are hex lights. All of them, they're all hex lights. All of those faders on max, max brightness across the board. Like I said, you'll never do this. If you want white, which is what that basically makes, you're just gonna turn the one white fader up or you might mix it with amber to make a soft white. Whole nother video. If you guys want more info on lighting and how lighting works and DMXing and all that, there's a whole playlist on my channel on DMX lighting and everything there is to do. There's a whole lighting 101 to explain lighting. Go check out that playlist if you want more details on lighting. This is talking about the lights. Worst case scenario, S4 versus S6. The S6s came in, of course, at the worst battery life to be assumed. Three hours and 15 minutes on average for most of the test. The S4s came in at about a half an hour more battery at three hours and 45 minutes. Now, at max case scenario, the test, it doesn't see much difference, about half an hour more battery, but when you expand that out is where the differences started to pop up. So the next test, we wanted to see something more realistic. And what we did was we turned on three faders to make a pink. It's kind of the worst case color I could think that you would want to make is a hot pink where you're combining red, blue, and UV. So all three of those faders on max. What we found out, S6s came in about 6.9 hours of battery life, just shy of seven hours. The S4s though, these guys right here, almost always made it to eight hours or a little bit past eight hours. So we're talking a little over an hour of difference of battery during that case. So like I said, when you go from half an hour, when you expand it out over time, we're gonna get more and more battery life out of these lights. That right there was kind of my conclusions on the test. You're gonna get at least an hour more battery out of the S4s than you do out of the S6s. And I'm gonna tell you though, in the real world, you do get quite a bit more battery life than that because of a couple things. Let's talk about traditional weddings. A traditional wedding being five to six hours. What we do with our up lights is normally for cocktail and dinner, before we get into open dancing, they're all a solid color. And that solid color is not normally three faders. Normally, it's just white. Normally, it's just red. Maybe it's a mix of two. Then, when we actually start open dancing, uh, at least what we do is we DMX those lights. So those lights are turning on, off, on, off, and they're normally just like red, off, green, off, blue, off. You get the picture. They're not draining as much battery because they're not working as hard. And what we've came to find out through myself and my guys that take out these six cases of uplights practically every single weekend is that we get way more battery out of them. Traditionally, what we find is we can get two weddings 100% of the time when they're fully charged. So a lot of times when I have a back-to-back -back wedding, Friday, Saturday, I will literally take the same up lights from Friday night, leave them in the trailer, go to the same wedding for Saturday, and we'll still have battery left in those lights. Normally when we check the percentage on these, um, it's anywhere from 30 to 15%. I just did an event with these. These lights I just did. And um, we're showing 68% battery life still left on these lights. The battery life is insane. I've tried to do three events with these back to back before. We're again, we're talking five to six hour weddings. I was able to get most of the lights. A few of the lights died before the end of the event, but that's some insane battery life and that's where both lighting is claiming that 15 to 20 battery or 15 to 20 hours of battery. In short, battery life on the S4 versus the S6s, you can absolutely guarantee that you're gonna get at least an hour more battery on the S4s than the S6s. And if, honestly, if I'm going to tell you honestly, I think you can get about two hours more battery on the S4s versus the S6s. So in short, S4 versus S6, the difference really comes down to output and battery life. The S6s have a wider uh, output range, but less battery life. And that right there, battery life is the most important thing to me in an event. That, the wider coverage really doesn't matter. So having more battery life is super important to me. So that's why we have gone with all S4s in our company. And this is the actual light that I recommend. If you're looking at the two S6 versus S4, this is the one I recommend. Now, 
Let's talk about the S4 and S6 Mini. Now, it's basically the same thing I just talked about, S4 versus S6, so let's just go ahead and disregard the S6s because it's the same argument. The S6 has less battery life and it has a wider coverage. So it's a wider coverage pattern, but less battery. So moving on from the big boys, we have the minis. And um, I'm, let's just start off by saying that these lights, like the S4 and the S6, they're identical. These lights are identical, which means they literally have the identical, uh, this one has a wider beam angle, it covers more, it's an S6, but it has less battery life. And in my testing, the battery life for these is actually identical to their brothers. So the S4 Mini gets the same battery life as the S4, the S6 Mini gets the same battery life as the S6. And the reason for that is they actually have a little bit less output. Um, not much, but there is less output when it comes the, to these lights versus their bigger comparisons. But in saying that, these lights are identical. It's the same build, same housing, same everything, same programming. So really, let's just disregard this. Let's disregard the S6 because I don't, I don't really recommend the S6 minis. I don't recommend the S6s. And like I said, that purely comes down to battery life. I, I want more battery out of my lights. I don't care how wide the coverage is. I want the most battery. And the most battery comes in the S4 packages. So let's change this discussion to S4 versus S4 mini. So I just mentioned it, but the output is a little less on the S4 mini than the S4s. Now, in reality, can you tell it? Mm, up to you guys. I'm gonna put some pictures up right now. I have some, plenty of pictures of comparing the outputs of the minis versus the regulars. To the average person at an event, you're not gonna see the difference necessarily, but to the trained eye, if you're gonna be looking at these like really close head to head, you will see a slight difference in output. But like I said, that slight difference in output is what allows this small package right here to keep the same battery life, that same eight hours of average battery life is what I say, at least eight hours as the S4s. So the real difference between these lights obviously comes down to their footprint and their programming. And to go over all that, let's move to the workbench. Let's start off with the build construction of these two lights. The S4 is a solid, solid metal and like I said, these same differences go for the S6 mini and the S6. So if you do want that wider coverage pattern, these differences apply to these lights as they do for the S6 and S6 mini models. The top, this right here is glass, this is plastic, if that's a big deal for you. The shield on the S6, on the minis is also plastic. So this upper shield portion right here, that's all plastic. On the uh, S4 bigger one, that is all metal. All metal, all glass construction. They both have a handle, they're both metal handles. There you go. Both of them do have fly points on the back side. Awesome to see. And if you turn them around, what you'll find is on the outside of the minis are the DMX in and out. And on the outside of the S4, you're gonna find your big color LCD screen display as well as your DMX. What you'll also find on the bigger ones is this antenna, which allows you to pop it out and get better wireless DMX signal. You do not have that on the mini. Speaking of that LCD screen, what you find on the bottom of the mini, and this one is dead, we have your traditional uh, red digital screen that controls this light versus this awesome full color display that you have on the S4s. Along those lines, the DMX profile for these two lights is the same, yet there are some minute differences in the controls, such as the strobe factor and the changing of lights. Where you will find in the S4, it's very snappy, and the S4 Mini, it's more like a fade. And I'm gonna cut to some footage of, I had an event where I was comparing these two a little closer, so that you guys can see those differences in the DMX programming. All right guys, so these, are the S4s versus the S4 Minis. Minis are over there, S4s are right here. Um, if you guys could see, the S4 Mini has like this little fade in between. It might be a setting, I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to look at it, but uh, this gives you guys a little bit of a real world comparison of how bright the S4 Mini is versus the S4. In my eyes, it's it's pretty damn close. <laughs> like, like, it's a little bit brighter maybe on the S4, but 
it's honestly not noticeable. I would use the S4 Minis just as much as I would use the S4s. And when you look at it from a cost perspective, like the S4 Minis cost about a third less and they're half the weight. So those are the differences in the DMX programming. They do have some minute differences. So if you want to mix these together, know that DMXing you are gonna have a little bit differences between them. They are the same DMX profile, but they do have differences when it comes to how fast they react to those changes in your DMX programming. On the bottom here though, we do both have a kickstand. The bigger one here has a better kickstand in my opinion. There's a little button that locks it into place. On this one, it's like this little grab mechanism, which works, um, but it's a little trickier to use. It's a little spring grab thing here on the bottom. Both of them have an awesome switch that turns them on and off. Uh, on the bottom here of the mini is where we find our wireless DMX as well as our power indicator. Again, this is your old school digital display, so your power indicator is separate. On the big boy here, you have an LCD screen with a battery percentage directly on the screen to show you how much battery life you have. So now, let's go to the bottom for the biggest difference, and that is our power input. So, the S4 ray here charges with a wonderful power con cable. And you have the addition of a power con out as well, which is amazing. Power con, as you guys know, is like the industry standard for power input other than IEC. So power con, you stick it in there, you turn it, it locks, it stays there, it's great. The S4 minis, however, they charge with this power brick right here. So it's your traditional power brick system. There's a little plug right here that plugs in right here and you're good to go. In retrospect, this is actually really easy to plug in if you get a charging case. It's super easy to plug in, but I will tell you straight up, these things right here break. I'm, it just happens. I had 16 of these and we had about five of these go bad over the course of about a year. It's all fine and dandy if you reach out to both lighting or if you buy through us, we will send you replacement power bricks all day long to fix the issue. It's just just a hassle and a nuance that I don't care for so much with the minis and it's kind of why we've shifted to all S4s but there's some more practicality to that as to why we did that. This is just one of the things that I don't like. I don't like whenever any device has a power brick. It's not something easy that's easy to find or replace. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you have extras of these if you do get the minis. Or again, like if you have any issues, you reach out, they're 100% under warranty, we'll give you brand new ones to replace them. Um, it's no big deal. But with these guys right here, it's a power con in and out. A power con cable is not going bad. And if it does, they're relatively available in most of the things we do, so it's really easy to replace. That right there is probably one of the biggest differences that I cared about when I talked about the mini versus the big was the power charging. Charging with a brick was less preferable to me. The power con, I really enjoyed. Now, obviously there's one additional big difference between these lights and um, it's pretty obvious, the size. I mean, this mini is literally practically half the size of the light. And actually, if you measure the light, it is exactly half the depth. So how, and we're talking how tall it is. If we're looking at it from a profile up and down, they are the same footprint, but linearly they are half the size. When it comes to weight, we're looking at 5.3 pounds on the big boys, and we're looking at just barely four pounds on the little ones. So about a pound and a half more per light on the big ones than the small ones, and that adds up fast. If you're talking about a four unit soft bag, you're talking about six pounds more per case than these guys. Or for better reference, that is gonna be a 16 pound bag versus a 20 pound bag. So you do have quite a big difference when it comes to the size and the weight. So if size and weight is a huge importance to you, that is a big difference between these lights. But that right there is a quick overview of these. Let me jump back behind the camera and give you my final thoughts and opinions as to what lights you should buy. So, S4 versus S4 Mini, which one is the best light that I can recommend to all of you guys? Well, in short, there isn't really one good light to recommend all of you because it comes down to your particular situation and logistics. And the biggest part of logistics is how much do these cost? Let's start with that. On average, these lights right here, so this is the S4, 
They come in anywhere from about $180 to $190 per light, depending on your configuration. You can buy these in four unit soft bags, six unit charging cases, eight unit charging cases, 10 unit charging cases. So you have some variety and the case makes up some of the price point and all the details like that. So $180 to $190, but on the S4 Mini, you're looking at $140 to $150 per light. So there's about a $40 to $50 difference per light. And depending on your situation, that might make a big difference. Now also, we got weight. S4s come in at 5.3 pounds, they come in at four pounds. So if weight is a big consideration for you, it might shy you towards the S4 Mini versus the S4. Now I do, like I mentioned earlier, the DMX profiles are different between these lights. So I do not recommend mixing them at your events. You can mix them within your company, but I wouldn't recommend mixing them in DMX situations. Let me preference a little more here as to what I recommend. If you are a beginner or in general, you're just looking for a few lights to add to your arsenal and you might be on a budget, you might not, or weight plays a big deal into your loading in and out. Say you're older, you're a one person crew, the S4 Mini might be the better option for you. Cause let's, let's back up for a second on price. We buy these lights to sell to our clients to make a profit. You can make a quicker return on your money with the S4 Minis than you can with the S4s if you say you're charging the same amount. Things to consider. If you are looking at getting a lot of these lights and you're gonna get them in road cases, I would highly recommend going with the S4s over the S4 Minis purely because of their durability. These lights are a solid metal construction. There is not an ounce of plastic on this, on this light at all. Even the top, that's a full glass cover. These things are rock solid and this light actually looks pretty nice. I have some ones that we've really beat up in our rental department and <laughs> they've stood the test of time. They are solid, they work every single night, um, knock on wood. And gotta remember that PowerCon input is industry standard. That's not gonna break. These power bricks, that's kind of one of the main reasons why I've shied away from them. These power bricks right here, these are prone to break over time and I just don't like that. So if you need a lot of them, highly recommend going for the more durable option. Also, one additional thing to mention, if you are a company that does a lot of rentals and you have a lot of random people using your lights on the regular, the usability of the S4s is a lot better too with the full color display. We send these lights out a lot on rentals during the week and the weekend with, they're just random people that are just looking to make some side hustle money. So we have a whole little thing that trains them. It makes it really easy for them to fix. We can, if they call us on the phone, it makes it really easy to navigate them to how to make the colors. Uh, on these guys with that big red screen, it's, it's a nightmare trying to tell someone that doesn't really know what they're doing how to problem solve this light. So if I had to give a king, I'd probably give it to the S4, but the S4 Mini with its weight and durability, like I said, this is the same battery life you're getting out of both of these lights. Slightly less output, but really it's about the same output. So if weight is a huge consideration for you, if budget is a huge consideration and you just need a few lights, these are great as well. So that's what I have to say. And actually to speak to these a little bit more, when we had these, we used to have 16 of these, we've since sold them. But if I had a small event where I wasn't doing up lighting and I only needed like four of these to light up some totems and maybe two on the DJ booth, I actually took these every single time. I didn't take these purely because of the weight. It was so much nicer to just throw a four unit bag of these in, just lighter weight, easier to throw around. Um, so that's kind of what it comes down to. If you need a few, these are awesome. If you need a bunch, go with these. And with that said, if you would like to purchase these lights, let's talk about how. So like I said at the beginning of the video, myself, Fusion Sound Lighting, my company, uh, DJ Rick Webb, all that fun stuff, we are the official only US-based dealer for both lighting. So if you would like some info on pricing, how to order with us, how to get more info, there's a link down in the description down below to a form that you fill out, fill out the form and we'll email you over a full pricing brochure with all the details, FAQs that you would wanna know with ordering through us. And for a limited time as this video is launched for the next like one to three weeks, two, three weeks, we'll decide it, but we're gonna be doing 10% off every single order across the board. Just for you guys' reference, some benefits on why you would wanna order through us, 
versus directly through the company in China. Again, we're the only US-based dealers, so that means you're working directly with us. You're not working with both lighting. We work with both lighting, so you work directly with us. We're based here in the United States, so we're up at the same hours. We speak English, kind of important, and we can help you with any single problem you have. Literally, if you have any problem with your order, with your lights, you shoot us an email, we'll respond to you extremely quick and fix any problem you have. We warranty every single light that we sell for a whole entire year. Any problems you have, no questions asked, we will fix it to make it right. And along those lines, we have parts here in house and spare models or spare units to replace anything. So if you have a problem with your light, it does happen about one in 50 orders, though these lights are made in China. It happens, we have issues. And whether it's we have to send you the part that you will feel comfortable fixing yourself, or we pay the shipping to send it to us here in house, we fix it the same day, ship it right back out to you, and you're rocking and rolling. That is extremely fast. If you have any issues, we can literally get you parts pretty much in like two to three business days. You can't do that in China. It takes like seven plus days to ship anything from China over here. It takes forever. So again, you're working with us here directly in the United States with us. You see the face. You literally will get emails directly from me. You're working with me. So if you got any issues, I'll take care of them. No questions asked. I stand by it. And along those lines, even if you've gone over a year, I will work with you to fix it. These parts are relatively cheap, so we can work something out and get it done. It's no big deal. So I appreciate all of you guys for watching the videos. I appreciate all the support. Um, if you guys would give a big like on this video, leave a comment down below. If you've already ordered some lights from us, if you're one of the couple hundred people that have ordered from us, leave it down in the description down below. Talk about both lighting and how much you love our lights. Um, do it. Like the video, comment. If you're not already subscribed, do so because in my next video, well, not the next next video, but the next video that we talk about on both lighting, we're going we're going to be going through some tips and tricks with these lights, where you can do some really cool things with actually turning the shield around. You can how I label the lights, how we wire our our cases in here. There's a lot of little tips and tricks to make the most out of these lights, and we're going to be going through that in the next video on both lighting. Again, if you guys want more info, link in the description down below to a form. We're doing 10% off for the next three weeks across the board on all the lights. Check them out. Anyways, peace out, keep them record spinning, and I will see you guys in the next one.